<laughs> my my dad's a pastor. So I'm, I'm raised in a born and raised in a Christian church. For sure. Yeah, I feel like exactly. the gospel, like, of course, like the gospel, like has verses, but like the gospel also says, show love to like everyone, love your enemies, love your neighbors. So saying. it's like through love, we can respect other people's opinions and decisions. We won't press the gospel on them because Jesus would never do that to other people. Because Jesus would never do that to other people. Jesus would never do that to other people. when the controversy comes in. When's it okay to kill a baby in the womb? Never. Never. Mm. Mm, that wasn't ready. For me personally. Okay. I mean, I, it's hard for me to say as a guy yeah. because, again, I'm not a I said woman. No. So I, I feel like if I was in that position, it'd be different. But in, in my current position, mm -hmm. I feel like as a father, I would never want that to happen. But for sure. I mean, people are, that's my own personal belief. Like, I wouldn't, but sure. also, there, yeah. it's very situation. It, well, like, it depends yeah. on the situation. Like, I think if the mother's life is in danger, if the baby's life is in danger, then maybe. It's but. not something I would do, but I support what other people do. That, like, what's best for them? I don't know. People have a lot of uh, like issues in their lives, for sure, yeah. and you know, reasons for things that like what. Like, I wouldn't. <laughs> like, we're not. I'm not gonna make like, the decision for other people, but I'll sure. make. Like, yeah. But for me, I would never do so it. So, do you guys believe it's a baby in the womb? Then I do. Oh yeah, yeah. from sure. conception, I believe that from it's conception. A baby. And I mean, and as a Christian too, like, mm -hmm. I have control over what I do. For sure. What other people do. Exactly, and you and still have to support everyone and support what yeah. they decide to do. If and like, you can't judge right. someone based off of like what they decide to do, but you can hold your own values true to yourself. Mm -hmm. So okay. you don't need to press your opinions upon other people. Just I agree. Co co live. Yes. So let me ask you this: So like, is it not murder then, if it's a baby? Because as a Christian, isn't there a Bible verse in the ten, one of the Ten Commandments, "Thou shalt not kill"? Yeah, of course. So is that not killing a innocent life? Personally, I believe so. Like, I, it, it breaks my heart to see what happens, but obviously nobody makes that decision with a, sure. with a light heart. Yeah. But, uh, I feel like it's a very serious decision, and it's like I said, not taken lightly. For sure. And that, the reason why I'm asking is I'm a Christian as well, so I go around. Yeah. It's asking people about this, trying to get these conversations started. Yeah, and, no, it's no, no, for sure. Are you so you guys are Christian? Me guys, let me ask y'all this: Do y'all know the gospel? Yes. What's the gospel? What's the gospel? Word of Christ. Word of Christ. But like the God, like the books of the gospel. What's the gospel? What's the good news? Um, God's word, Jesus's word. Uh, what does that mean? It's the truth and the living truth. Okay. So let me ask you this: How do you get to heaven? What do you have to do? Believing in God as your Lord and Savior, that spreading the gospel. I don't that think that believing is all of it. I think, I think there's people that don't believe. I think some of my best friends, you know, they're Muslim and they don't believe that Jesus is our Savior, but they're some of the kindest people. Very sure. devout. Like, I think they're going to heaven for sure. I think it's about the type of life you lead and the way you treat others. And how you impact other people, how you treat yourself. So you say you gotta, would you say, Anybody can get to heaven, you, almost like you got to be a good person, like a good human being, essentially. Thank God, like, we don't understand how God operates, you know, For sure. complex. The way he judges people isn't the same way that we judge people. For sure. And, you know, he's forgiving, you know, if, if you try to be a good person, you know, yeah. you are a good person and you're cool, I don't think that, that's not a, we got God. I don't think that's as important as maybe what you believe. For sure, so like, do you guys read scripture? Yeah, I try. I don't know. No, why is she said? I don't. I honestly, I, I should, but. So let me let me help you guys out real quick. Uh, so the Bible says nobody's good. Yeah. None of us are good. Any doesn't matter if you're a liar. If you lied, you all lied. We all stolen something. We all committed adultery. We always we all looked at lust, pornography, whatever. We all blasphemed God's holy name. And God says all those things. That's the byproduct of what sin is. And that sin, the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. Meaning that everyone, no, you good. Uh, the Bible says that we're all sinners. We all deserve our place in hell. But be, this is the good news, though. Because of who God is, because God says, I love you so much, and you guys are the apple in my eye, you're my creation, 
I came down in the person of Jesus, live the life that you should have lived, because the requirement to get to heaven is that you got to be perfect, which none of us are. But he says, I took your place on the cross. I took the sins that you deserve, and I put it upon myself, and I died with them. Three days later, I rose again from the grave, defeating sin and death, giving everyone an opportunity to have everlasting life. Meaning that you got to repent, turn away from whatever sins you're putting your trust into, and push your trust and faith in Jesus alone. Now, I would say this, because I got a lot of Muslim friends, I got a lot of uh, friends who are Buddhists. The Bible is very clear. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No man gets to the Father except through me. They have a different Jesus. They preach a Jesus that didn't die. They preach a Jesus that can't save you from your sins, other than what the Bible preaches. And the Bible, and the Bible says, if you have a different Christ, you got a different gospel, and you got a Jesus that can't save you. You got a Jesus that's going to lead you to hell. That's not the person of the Bible. That's not the God of the Bible. So we should be out there spreading the gospel, sharing the gospel. You know what I mean? Don't don't go around just like just thinking like oh, I'm a good person. Yeah. All my friends are gonna come in. It don't work like that. Yeah. There's some really good, some really cool people, man. I met a lot of cool people with different faith and religions, but it's different than just being a cool person. You know? I know. Like genuinely good and they're cool. So For sure. But his, but his, whose word is higher? Is it our word or is it what the Bible says? The Bible says nobody's good. We all deserve sin and death. Yeah. And we all deserve death. You know what I mean? We all deserve hell. But that's why he says I came down and I died for you. And now, because that's that's the real issue is your unbelief in him and what he has done and if you don't believe in him for what he has done for you the bible says this the one who has a son has life the one who doesn't have a son doesn't have life so i would encourage you guys if you guys are if you guys say you are christian we dedicate your lives to him we dedicate yourself to reading his word because how can you say you're a christian you don't read what he says yeah. you know what i mean i'm not i'm not no, trying to get down no. on you i'm just i agree no you know what i mean like because the bible says in what for a second timothy three that um that all scriptures god breathes and then jesus said man doesn't live off of bread alone but off of every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god we should be living that yeah you know what i mean so and don't get me wrong man it's a relationship it's not a religion it's a relationship it's he said it's a child a father child relationship it got nothing to do with anything else but as a christian too i'm gonna say this if god created that life does god make mistakes he's a giver of life so if he gave that a woman a child regardless of the circumstances that's an innocent life it's human life it's life created in him image bearer of god and that womb and then just say to kill that baby off of a circumstance the innocent you know what I mean? You said something about rape earlier. We we care more about killing a baby than we more about the uh, rapists. That's true. You know what I mean? Most times. But then again, like, what if the woman that got raped and got pregnant, like, what if she can't handle that financially? What if she's young? What if she's in school? What, like, there's so many oh, for concerns sure. that come up. Yeah, and I, I I agree with that. And that's why I would say, like, you know, we should have better health care systems, have better adoption centers, foster care, better hospitals to help these women who go through a traumatic experience. I'm not I'm not knocking it down some of that yeah. stuff doesn't happen. Definitely happens. But like, again, like she's either she's going to be traumatized either way, Yeah. So either from having a baby or not. And at the end of the day, it's like, do we value human life that we say that we do? You want to destroy a building because you want to you don't know if that person's in there or not. But we, and that's an adult who knows but he'd be willing to kill an innocent baby you know what i mean so i'm just yeah i'm not saying you guys to change your mind right this second but just give it some more thought before you know what i mean before it's you know what i mean because we we are the voice you know what i mean god uses his children to speak to the world and if we're not doing that then how are we gonna help better the world around us you know what i mean i can't just be walking by and just you know what I mean? Why are people just right, just saying like, oh, everyone's good. Oh, it's okay to be gay. It's okay to do this. It's okay to lie. It's okay to steal. And you are most going to heaven when the Bible says no. He says, why does the gate and narrows the way to get there? That leads to eternal life. And you know what I mean? As a Christian, that's, you should be doing that, man. I ain't, I ain't got nothing about, I get it. No one wants to butt heads with nobody, but like, it ain't about that, man. It's about like, our life is short. Yes. I don't know. What do you guys think, man? I feel like I'm... <laughs>
I don't like I don't like praise. I like talking to people. No, no. I mean, I think it's eye opening what you said, and like definitely something to think about. And yeah. I just can't control the way other people live their lives. For sure. Like exactly. I can't. Hundred percent. With my try to be the best Christian I can be, but uh, again, if, if somebody's living their way. Yeah, I, I can't change that. For sure. I feel like the gospel, like, of course, like, the gospel, like, has verses, but, like, the gospel also says, show love to, like, everyone, love your enemies, love your neighbors. So it's like, through love, we can respect other people's opinions and decisions. We won't press the gospel on them because Jesus would never do that to other people. He'd never force people to be, and, like, condone them, condemn him with love. And I just think that we need to live like that. We need to live and love others. Need, well, Jesus said this. He says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. No, of course. You know what I mean? So, like, the most loving thing that you can do as a Christian is tell somebody the gospel. Because of, yeah. think about this, like the Bible says, for once is a man appointed to die, and after that is judgment, right? The Bible says he's very clear that you're gonna be, you're gonna stand before him and get judged how you live your life. And the main thing he's gonna judge y'all if you had a relationship with his son or not, right? <laughs> the most loving thing as a Christian that we can do is go around and share the gospel. That's not to say I let these people. You can do whatever you want. Even Jesus did this. Even the lady who's about to get stoned. Thank you, bro. You, you, you're a real one. Even the lady who's about to get stoned, getting caught in adultery. All he said was, he said, whoever the, whoever has a sin, cast the first stone. And everybody walked away, right? Remember that story? And then he said, well, what did he say to her after she got up? He said, go and sin no more. Turn away from this. Because this doesn't bring life. You know what I mean? So it, that's the most loving thing. Yeah, Jesus would go around and tell him to believe in the gospel because that's what saves. That's what... It's by hearing the gospel that somebody comes to faith. You know, I get it. You want to preach love, you don't want to offend nobody, but Jesus offended a lot of people. You know? Yeah. And it's because nobody wants to hear this. Nobody wants, everyone wants to be self righteous. Everyone wants to live in sin. But if you guys have a, you guys have a Bible at home or anything? You guys have a Bible at home or anything? Yes. In my desk in my. Was the last time you read it? I read my Bible every day. <laughs> yeah. All right. I ain't judging. My my dad's a pastor, so I'm, I'm raised in a born and raised in a Christian household. Mm. So I yeah. What's your guess? Yeah, it's been a few weeks.